Real-time closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Key Bank. The solution is key. WTVH5, Syracuse. And now, live from the first television station in central New York, this is 5 on your side at 6. A blast of lake snow slams into central New York. Bone-chilling cold, whiteouts, and treacherous roads turn any trip outdoors into an adventure tonight. Good evening. We have serious news to report in Paris tonight. A two-car fatal accident on Route 69, about two miles east of Route 81, is closed Route 69. Also, Route 81 is closed in both directions between Paris and Central Square because of the whiteout weather conditions. Also, most schools, some government offices, and community agencies all closed their doors early this morning as our area was blasted by lake effect snow. It's the winter pattern we love to complain about. Commuters inched their way to work today if they were able to find a passable road. The weather closed. Route 81, as Matt said, also Route 481 at times and prompted Oneida, Madison, and Cayuga counties, as well as the city of Fulton and asking people to stay off the roads. And funny, but the same weather pattern brought out the sun and made for a Christmas card-like scene today. Of course, we have team coverage tonight. Michael Benny is by the Onondaga Lake Parkway, chasing down some of the many accidents. Melissa Medley is on the road in Oswego County, where the snow is still coming down fast and furious. But we begin with Chief Meteorologist Tom Hoff with his forecast. Tom. And good evening to you. Just a recap for today. 4.9 inches of snow here in the Syracuse area. A peak wind gust of uh, 43 miles per hour just prior to 9 a.m. this morning. Then conditions settled down for the most part. Take a look at the Doppler radar. The action is very much up in Oswego County. This band has been stationary. We've had a couple of reports. People can't even see cars in front of their houses. The visibility is very, very low. Snowfall rates as much as three to four inches per hour. And as we zero on in, it's still mainly in the parish area, from parish uh, north to Mexico, over towards Altmar and Williamstown. The band pretty much just oscillating right through that particular area. That's where the heaviest snow is. Eventually, the band is going to begin to sag southbound, but not in any great form until after about 9 o'clock tonight, meaning another three hours of very heavy snow in those areas. Now, in Syracuse right now, we have mostly cloudy skies, and while we're out of the lake effect snow, we are certainly in the wind. We're gusting to 31 miles per hour. We have a wind chill advisory posted tonight for potential wind chills as low as minus 20. Right now in Utica 12, Ithaca at 13. Now, the planning forecast, Utica and the city of Syracuse should remain fairly quiet overnight. Heavy lake effect snows will uh, shift southbound, but remain just north of the thruway. Details coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Tom. Some of us chose to stay home because of the weather today, but if you had to go out, it was very difficult going. Now, Melissa Medley was uh, assigned to cover Oswego County today, and she's live right now with a tale of what turned out to be quite an adventure, right, Melissa? It did indeed, Matt Maureen. Many times in the news business, we do exactly what we tell you not to do. This morning, our meteorologist told us that Oswego would be hit hard with snow. So what did photojournalist Al Loricello and I decide to do? Drive into the eye of the storm. It's just after 9 o'clock when we start another winter journey. Before we can even get on Route 81, we're told to back up. That fender bender would only be the beginning. On 481, we experienced some of the worst driving of the winter. Inches of snow packed down on the road, every driver flashing their hazard lights. Within a 10-mile stretch, we saw car after car after car. That's number 13. After car after car stuck on the side. We stumbled upon Catherine Macbeth, stranded driver number 24, now going on two hours waiting what for happened? a tow truck. Um, I was on my way to work in Oswego, mm -hmm. and um, I just I was going too fast, and I slid off the road, turned the other way. And... We decided to get off at the Great Northern Mall to scrape off the ice on the windshield. Right off the exit, this elderly woman was stuck in a snowbank. Five on your side photojournalist Al Loricella kindly pushed her car out. In a nearby parking lot, we run into a driver heading our way. She decided not to push it and stay put. It was completely white. I couldn't even see the road at all. We decided to brave the whiteout and continue north. Almost two hours and 40 minutes later, we reach our destination. Oswego greets us with clear skies and barely any snow. Proof of the unpredictability of lake effect. Of course, that's changed now. Oswego is now getting the brunt of this winter storm. They have reopened part of Interstate 81 northbound here behind me. 
Also, 81 South is still closed. So if you're heading 81 South past Parrish, between Parrish and Central Square, it's still shut down. Matt Maureen, you're not going to be seeing me back at the station for several hours. I think we're going to take it slow and steady on the way home. Back to you. That very is wise. great advice, Melissa. Yeah. Well, thank you for a very long day under difficult circumstances, and I guess a, a long night ahead. We'll see you whenever you get here. Now, in Cayuga, Madison, and Oneida counties, authorities simply asked motorists to just stay off the road. Here in Onondaga County, though, the problems in the evening rush had subsided quite a bit. Michael Benny, though, joins us from Onondaga Lake Parkway, where there was a big precaution taken, right, Michael? Yeah, Matt and Maureen, authorities aren't taking any chances here on the parkway tonight. The parkway is one way as we speak. It has been that way for about the last two hours. If you are traveling, Traveling from Liverpool into the city of Syracuse, the parkway is not going to be an option. There's just too much blowing and drifting snow coming off the lake, and they do not want to risk the possibility that there could be a head-on collision in those lanes. Still, the biggest trouble of the day happened north of the city of Syracuse. 81 North closed for several hours today after a chain reaction accident between the Cicero and Brewerton exits. When state police first got to the scene, they thought for sure the driver of the car involved would be dead. His car was pinned under a tractor trailer and the rig ran over the vehicle. Six other cars went off the road near the accident scene. Amazingly, the driver was pulled from the car with only minor injuries. State police say he must have had an angel watching out for him. And you may agree when you take a look at what happened to the car. That we had to pull it out from underneath the tractor trailer, but luckily enough, the person uh, was just taken away in an ambulance, and they're okay. And everybody else would just kind of fouled suit down into the ditches and got away. There are plenty of lucky drivers and very happy families tonight, including one driver who flipped their minivan over here on the parkway and came dangerously close to the water. Certainly, Matt and Maureen, one of the worst driving days so far this winter. Back to Certainly you. Certainly, we can remember, Michael. Thank you. It was a dramatic rescue on the ice in Oswego Harbor, and it was all caught on tape by police cameras. It was a 10-year-old boy who was threatening to jump into the icy current. Five on your side, Chuck Plumpton joins us from the newsroom with this dramatic video. Chuck. Well, Matt, this rescue really shows more than just a rescue, but the selfless dedication and bravery of firefighters and EMT crews. In this case, Oswego City firefighters. It began late yesterday afternoon when a 10-year-old boy, apparently despondent, walked out on the ice in Oswego Harbor, way out, just inches from the swift running water in the middle. Horrified people tried to talk to him from shore. Oswego Police Chief Alex Zukovsky describes the situation as one of the most dangerous he's ever seen. That's open water right here. You can see how close he is, one step, and he's in the water. Chief Zukovsky says he's never felt so helpless. How to get the boy back from the edge without causing him to go in. A helicopter was called while they were trying to get a boat ready. You can see one firefighter on a rescue sled with tether inching closer from the west side. Out of camera shot, another firefighter with no gear, crawling closer from the east. But with all that manpower, Zukovsky the says they the felt powerless. Flat. And, there, and he looks very close, but he's probably at least 150 yards away from him. The boat is finally launched from some distance away. Meanwhile, the boy seems to be threatening to jump. As the boat nears, rescuers make a decision. Talk hasn't worked, so they'll try a tackle. Get him! Get him! Right. Get him! All right, let's go. The unidentified boy is fine and back at home, according to police. The chief telling us anyone going in the water and not on a tether would have been swept off in the currents. Live in the newsroom, Chuck Plumpton, five on your side. Oh, wow, glad Chuck. there was a, at least a positive a ending, ending to that. Boy, what, a, what an effort. More security surrounds and protects Hancock Airport, but who's going to cover that cost? And the government wants you to protect yourself in case of a terror attack. But could using duct tape and plastic sheeting actually have some ill effects? You're watching Five on Your Side at 6 with Maureen Green, Matt Mulcahy, weather with meteorologist Tom Hoff, and sports with Kevin Marr. Five on Your Side News is brought to you by Ponderosa. Across the country, hardware stores are reporting a surge in sales of plastic sheeting and duct tape 
In response to the government's suggestion, we protect ourselves from terrorism. Lara Manning tells us how Central New Yorkers are responding to the terrorist threat. Here in central New York, duct tape and plastic sheeting aren't flying off the shelves the way they are in some larger cities. Nonetheless, local hardware stores are seeing the increase in concern over a possible terrorist attack increases their sales. A gentleman last night specifically came in for rolls of plastic and duct tape because he said it was a result of watching the news. At the Ace Hardware store in the Nottingham Plaza, they've moved the items to the front of the store as more customers come in looking for disaster protection. You would never think of it. It's never been an issue before, but it's on people's minds now. Ray Butler with Building Energy Solutions says covering your doors and windows may help, but will not keep you 100% safe from chemicals as they can seep through tiny cracks in your home. It would lessen the concentrations. If you didn't put anything up, I, you would have a higher concentration. You're not, there's no way to seal it, so nothing is going to come in. If you do seal your home, avoid burning anything, even using your furnace, or you could cause a serious problem. Carbon monoxide buildup, depletion of the oxygen. To avoid that, Ray Butler says if you're going to seal your home, it's best to keep the pieces of plastic cut and ready to go, as opposed to sealing up your home before there's any real cause. Matt and Maureen. Thank you, Lyra. Heightened security at Hancock International Airport will remain in effect till the government lowers the terror threat. But a large part of the cost is shared by the Syracuse Police Department. And Five on Your Side's Jamie Garola reports the security is not only hurting the budget, it's taking officers off the streets. Even with strong winds and chilling temperatures, Syracuse police officers stop every car before it enters the garage at Hancock. Also inspected, cars parked on the curbside that are just dropping off passengers. This unprecedented security check was necessary before officials reopened the garage after shutting it down for three days. We're hoping to prevent a terrorist incident that would have catastrophic effects here at the airport. So knowing that airports are a prime target for the terrorists as we've seen in the past, uh, we're implementing prudent security procedures here at the airport. And under order of the federal government, Syracuse police officers are the ones responsible for carrying out the latest security check, taking them off the streets and putting a strain on the city's budget. Last year, new homeland security measures cost the city nearly $2 million. I would love to have the uh, federal government and or the state say, we'll send in the National Guard or the State Guard because I'd rather have those cops out on the street. But it is what it is. We are under order. We have to have those officers there. The new procedure only lasts minutes, and some passengers say as long as it makes them feel safer, it's time and money well spent. It was inspected before I went into the facility. He opened up the trunk and said, you look good, go in. So it was real easy. But for other passengers, the inspections were a little too easy. Well, not necessarily. He just lifted up my trunk. I mean, I could have anything in my luggage. He just looked in my trunk and said, go on. I got to do two things. Peek We're at go. Hancock International Airport tonight. Jamie Garola, 5, on your side. Well, the heaviest lake effect snow right now is uh, due east of the lake, mm -hmm. right? Yep, Palermo was much as 17 inches of snow. That was through 4 p.m., so they probably added on to that. And the bend is going to sag southbound, probably as far south as the thruway, and then it's going to kind of hold up. Let's take you right to the radar, show you what's going on. And there's your action, mainly across Oswego County, heading into Oneida County along the north shore of Oneida Lake, and it's been pretty stationary over the last couple of hours. We still expect after about 9 o'clock or so that the bend will begin to migrate to the south overhead into uh, the central and northern parts of Onondaga County after about 10 or 11 o'clock time frame. And then uh, late tonight, if anything, we might see the band try to push back to the north again. And then tomorrow, another strong northwesterly push should bring the band through the entire viewing area, eventually ending up down towards Cortland and Ithaca later on tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to watch this one very carefully. Uh, tomorrow during the day, again, we do expect some improvement by evening as the lake effect snow finally begins to wind down somewhat. And as we go into the day on Friday, it should be a fairly quiet day. Heading into the weekend, we're going to watch a system moving in from the south and west. That's going to bring us the chance for some minor snow by Sunday. But along with it, moderating temperatures. We could be witnessing the beginning of an overall pattern change. I know we've said that a couple of times before, but on paper, it looks like we could be uh, jumping out of this uh, Arctic cold sooner than we think. My forecast for tonight, we do expect windy conditions, lake effects snow to sag as far south as the thruway.
three to six inches or more with the band and a low temperature of five degrees. For the day tomorrow, it's going to be a breezy day with more pockets of lake effect snow, an additional two to four inches possible with a high temperature of 12. In the seven-day extended outlook for the day on Saturday, clouds and sun, maybe a few minor snow showers at night, and then a better chance for some accumulating snow Sunday, then a bit of a warm-up here for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Our five weather quiz questions tonight. What is the largest snowflake ever measured? Oh, Jeez. gosh. They're, they're, they're all so astounding. Big. Five by five. There you go. Eight, 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 eight by twelve. Oh. That was in Bratsk, Siberia in 1971. You could get, you could get hurt by that. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Break it down. There you go. Ahead in sports, we'll introduce you to our five-star athlete of the week. And this woman upstages the witch Susie Whaley by accepting an invitation to play with the boys on the PGA Tour. During Dodge Power Days, get the best values in America. Take our best products like Dodge Ram Heavy Duty, the 250 horsepower Intrepid SXT, the best-selling minivan ever, and the V8 powered Durango. Plus our best warranty, Dodge's fully transferable 770 powertrain limited warranty. Plus our best deals, like up to a $4,500 cash allowance or 0% financing on most models. Add it all up, and it equals the best values in America. See your Dodge dealer or visit Dodge.com. <laughs> A mystery unfolds in a hotel room. The only clue a piece of paper with one word, Scarlet. The Scarlet Mystery. Play the game at the Hawthorne Suites February 21st through the 23rd. You will be part of a small investigative team competing to solve the crime and win the prize. Search for hard evidence, conduct live interviews to solve the Scarlet Mystery. Mystery Weekend Special includes suite and meals, only $299 per couple. You must act quickly, but with caution. There are those who will stop at nothing to see the truth is never told. It's an Easter tradition, and it's free. PNC's whole semi-boneless Easter ham. Spend $500 or more with your wild card now through March 29th and earn a free Gold Label Premium Ham. There's no water added. It's the highest quality ham. Also save on USDA Select semi-boneless beef ribeye steak or roast, $3.89 a pound. Fresh strawberries, $1.97 a pound. And tang, Kool-Aid jammers, and other juice favorites, buy one, get one free. So start saving and earning your free ham at PNC. show bonus for a total cash allowance of $1,500 on Jeep Wrangler. Goldberg's President's Day Sale. Store-wide markdowns on America's trusted names. Broyhill, Lane, Sealy, and more with no payments or interest for a full year. This elegant Broyhill cherry sleigh bed is reduced $300, $4.99. New arrival Broyhill sofas start at just $4.99. And all Broyhill casual dining sets on sale. Guaranteed lowest prices now. The President's Day Sale at Goldberg's. Five on Your Side Weather is being sponsored by Goldberg Furniture and Appliance. Good evening, everyone. When DeWitt native Susie Whaley came back home a couple weeks ago, everyone was saying congrats for accepting the chance to become the first woman in 60 years to play with the men on the PGA Tour. Today, those same people are saying... Sorry, Susie, because Annika Sorenstam beat her to the punch. Today, the best women's golfer in the world accepted an invitation to play in the PGA Colonial Tournament in May. Now, this is no gimmick. She deserves to play, having won more tournaments in the last two years than Tiger Woods. Whaley will still play in the Greater Hartford Open in July. Qualifying today in Daytona for Saturday's Bush Grand National Race, and watch what happens. Michael Waltrip on the track, and so was a seagull. Yeah, not surprisingly, Waltrip wins the battle. Waterloo's Mike McLaughlin finished fourth in qualifying. You can see him tomorrow on Central New York Live. And finally, the high school basketball playoff brackets will be released later tonight. The Fulton Red Raiders will be in the mix, thanks to a player who's not afraid to mix it up. Here's Craig Thomas with the Five Star Athlete of the Week. Six foot six, Matt Cooper is the number one scorer in all of Section Three, averaging 24 points a game. For the Fulton senior co-captain, it's all about practicing, playing, and practicing some more. I've just played every day pretty much for the past probably 
12 years, 13 years or so. Yeah, he's a gym rat. He's in the gym all the time. He's always working on his shooting. He's working to get stronger. He's working on his foot speed. Matt's always been one of the biggest kids on his team. But he knew to become a really good player, he needs to do things that most big guys can't do. I can just go inside and outside, so that's pretty much the strength of my game. He's very diversified. He can score with his right hand as well as his left hand. With all the time Matt spends on the court, doesn't he ever just want to take a few days off? Not really. I can play every day. It's, it's, it's something I love to do. And he'll get to keep doing what he loves after this season ends. When I was younger, I used to watch the college on TV and everything. I thought it would be like great to play college ball someday. And it looks like it could happen. Matt will probably play Division II hoops next year, maybe even at LeMoyne. But first things first, the playoffs start on Friday. This is Craig Thomas, 5 on your side, sports. And the Red Raiders will be one of those middle seeds, a 5 or a 6, and your Liverpool alma mater will be number 1. Yes, they will, undefeated. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. We'll be right back with more news after the s &K Challenge? At first glance, these two suits look virtually identical. Same quality wool blend fabric. Same great tailoring, both fully lined. But there is one important difference. The price. You see, while you might expect to pay $200 for this suit, at s &K, you can buy not one, but two Kilburn and Finch suits for that price. Take the s &K Challenge. s &K challenges you to find better values anywhere in America. You really love that mattress, don't you? Where am I? It's the Sealy mattress sale. I tried to warn you. It's a Sealy. When was that? Yesterday. Coffee? The Northeast's largest selection of Sealy mattresses is on sale now with free delivery, setup, and removal, all at guaranteed lowest prices. Only at the Sealy Sleep Centers at Raymore and Flanagan. Welcome to New York Bride, Central New York's largest bridal salon, with 10,000 square feet of the very best bridal and bridesmaids gowns. And this Sunday, February 16th, all of the area's best wedding professionals will be here in the salon for an informal fashion show. Win some amazing prizes and see the very best Syracuse has to offer for your wedding at New York Bride, Sunday, February 16th from 12 to 4. Pre-register at www.nybride.com. Great prices, great service, and 44 years of experience. Lewis Goodman says it's time to move him out. With over $2 million in inventory, we have the car or van for everyone. New O3s, cars and vans, and we still have a few O2s left. This week is the time to make a deal with 0% financing on most new 2003s. Lewis Goodman needs your trade vehicles. Shop today and get Chrysler 5-star service from a trusted dealer. Located right in the middle of Automobile Row, Syracuse. On tonight's CBS Evening News, with the nation on high terror alert, we'll give you a hard look at whether the government's suggestions of protecting yourself actually work. Also, where is Osama bin Laden and why can't he be found? We'll have the latest on the search for the world's most wanted man on tonight's CBS Evening News. And tonight at 11, several accidents today, including a fatal one in Oswego County. We'll see how emerging cr emergency crews are dealing with the weather. And an Illinois state trooper is hit by a car. It's all caught on tape. Oh. And we will bring that to you tonight at 11. And finally tonight, with some lighter news. Elementary students jumping for joy. And it's not because they had a snow day. No, they're excited about raising some cash for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. It's the Willowfield Elementary School in Liverpool. It'll be hopping up and down for donations on Friday. The Hopathon is set up not only to raise money, but also to dispel myths about muscular dystrophy. If you'd like to make a donation, send a check to the school made out to Muscular Dystrophy Association. <laughs> They're, they're very practicing, cute, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to do fine. And don't underestimate how many hops that One more look at the radar. Uh, let's take a quick peek. There it is. The band starting to show signs of shifting south, so it will make it as far south as the thruway later tonight. That's five on your side at six. Thanks for joining us tonight. CBS is next. We'll see you at 11.
Express yourself with Singular Wireless, formerly Cellular One, the official wireless provider of five on your side, Channel 5 in Syracuse.